one of the best i think sneakers to release in maybe the last decade or so which is the tom Sachs mars yards and nike mars yards we now have news courtesy of complex that nike and tom Sachs are working together again if you remember i think maybe it's a couple of years ago tom Sachs got into a bit of trouble because there was this um, um hit piece out about him and his working practices at tom Sachs studio and people were kind of shocked to find out that he was basically an arsehole behind the scenes how allegedly he was appearing on zoom calls naked shouting at people in the studio throwing pens at them books at them you know just being a tyrant you know classic sort of like design studio um working conditions creative studio conditions fashion studio conditions if you work in that field you know that isn't uncommon but i think people were surprised because he's got maybe a, a bit of a jolly fucking deposition and he comes across like a cool dude but people under or people kind of discovered through that op-ed or through that piece i think it was maybe on grubhub or something that he wasn't the bestest of guys me personally i thought it was blown out of proportion i thought more than likely um that was the case across all design practices all design fields most studios are run like that um that's just the nature of the game uh, it's very rare that you find nice people in the design fashion industry and when you do it's a real fucking breath of fresh air and surprise but for the most part you're gonna you know you're gonna come across assholes and shit especially if they're accomplished um they're gonna really kind of believe their own you know fast don't stink and stuff so you have to just navigate it well in your own way and kind of try and get the best out of it if you can so i wasn't too surprised to hear about it and i personally think it wasn't enough for him to get his nike deal taken away from him because essentially he's just a asshole of a guy um he's probably not the bestest person to work for um he might be a cunt in person but i don't think being a cunt and being unlikable is a reason for you to get quote unquote cancelled um get cancelled for doing some abhorrent things as we know what the abhorrent things are actual legal things but being a piece of shit i don't think should be grounds to gain counsel because if that was the case then we have to cancel a whole pe a whole bunch of people out there so i'm glad to see common sense has prevailed people don't care about him throwing you know if he throws a notebook at your face just quit and go somewhere else but i don't think he should be having his shoes get cancelled personally and uh, you know i'm somewhat biased because like i said before um the tom Sachs mars yards are one of my favorite sneakers in the last 10 years I had a pair that I completely wore into the ground. I had to I had to basically throw it away recently because I wore them so much into the ground. The sides were splitting. I had a hole in the bottom of the shoe and they were one of the most comfy shoes, most, most versatile shoes and also one of the only sneakers I've had in recent years apart from maybe Yeezys that get a lot of compliments from like regular people because I always think regular civilians quote unquote non sneaker heads if they compliment your trainers that's usually a sign that you've got some cool trainers on because you know it's all you know sneaker heads are gonna fucking wank over anything that's limited edition that's covered in glitter and fucking you know zebra skin but when a regular person says oh shit nice shoes i i love that compliment way more so i would get so many compliments walking down the street wearing my tom Sachs mars yard so i'm over the moon legitimately over the moon that he's back working with nike so this is the article courtesy of complex it says nike announced on monday that will resume a partnership with the new york artist tom Sachs, who saw after nike collaborations were put on pause in 2023 after reports that um he that depicted Sachs as a volatile cruel boss who intentionally ran his studio like a cult <laughs> i love it the brand said that it's reviewed its relationship with tom Sachs and decided to move forward with the collaborations that's probably because they're suffering too by the way don't don't be shocked i, I think in general nike's i think if, uh, i saw some reports nike's sales are down they recently changed ceo so i think this has a lot to do with that it also maybe explains why they're retroing loads of limited edition shoes like the wutan danks are coming back out again the fucking um what you call it the stash air maxes are coming back out again the stash air force ones are coming back out again the undefeated air jordan jordan fours are coming back out again so they're re-releasing a lot of limited edition shoes that were super hard to get back in the day and i think the reason why because their sales are down so it makes sense that they would re-sign somebody who was responsible for one of their most highest selling shoes if i'm not mistaken i think the tom Sachs mars yards the ones that i had i think they still go for like five grand on StockX. i swear they do let's check it quickly I think the last time I checked, they still go for like fee. See, Jesus Christ! I had the two point zeros. They're still going for like someone sold them for twelve grand. Let's see how much they're going for here. 
they still go for crazy amounts on resale. So I think this probably played a part in Nike deciding, you know what? Let's get this guy back. So there's a pair here. Let's see what size is. What size do they have available? Uh, my size, which is US 11. Oh my God. Look at the prices. <gasps> Jesus Christ. My size, US 11, is £5,000. £5,000. God almighty. What's the cheapest? The cheapest so far that I've seen on here is £3,310, which is for a UK 5. But if you want like a decent, you know, a quote-unquote normal adult size, anywhere from like size 8 upwards, you're paying five, six grand. UK 8, six grand. UK 8.5, 8,300. UK 9, 7,250. Fucking hell fucking hell so yeah this this probably speaks to why they re-signed him and what's this one i think this might be the that's the 2.0 so the two came out this is the i think this is the first 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 one right so this is the first one that has yeah this is the first one so the, the first ones even go for way more money the 1.0s i guess these go for like 10 grand oh my god oh my god i think they did some changes on those as well by the way i forgot what the design changes were but um, Jesus Christ! Yeah, this explains why they resigned him. Now we know why they resigned him. Um, let's see. Tom has demonstrated and recom and recommitted to fostering a culture of respect and inclusivity. Oh, is that so? What's he doing now? Is he hiring more black people down or something? Um, Nike statement said in a statement, um, "We can confirm that our work with Tom Sachs will continue, and this next chapter of Nike Nike Craft will upload." would uphold sorry our shared passion for team product and storytelling excellence more details to come in 2025 the sneaker brand provided a statement from sax i'm honored that we will continue to build together as nike craft team community the mars yard 3.0 is in the final stage of development and is currently being wear tested i'm excited to share some soon the statements confirm that Nike and Tom Sass will release the Nike 3.0 next year the brand sent complex a teaser image featuring the inside tongue of a shoe um with the text identifying it as a mark two okay so that's the inside of it so most likely what we're gonna get is this i think we're gonna get this i think this is a this is the 3.0 so it's basically the same as the regular mars yards but they have um reinforced um silver eyelets they also have a reinforced rubberized toe here which obviously is something that you would kind of be handy if you were working um in a workshop somewhere with tools and whatnot and if i'm not mistaken the line the kind of the material here on the toe box and the side panels is made out of like i forgot the material name but it's basically waterproof um and it's waterproof and water resistant kind of thing um so that kind of works really well as well so those would be i'm gonna obviously be trying to buy a pair and i think they might have changed a little bit of the midsole too i'm not too sure if that's been reinforced as well but that's the updated um nike miles yard the one that obviously i had that i absolutely destroyed is this one the 2.0 such a beautiful shoe i wish i could get another pair actually um that's actually a shoe i'd, I'd actually fucking consider getting a fucking replica of i'm not gonna lie because it's impossible you know i'm not gonna pay five grand for a pair of fucking mars yards and who knows even the ones on StockX, there's no guarantee that those ones on StockX are fucking legit anyway like resale the resale market is fucking horrendous nowadays unless you get something from someone with a receipt there is no un there's no fucking guarantee that you're buying something real that the replica game is so fucking strong now um and everyone's fucking scamming everybody so yeah um it's hard out here there's also this pair here in black unreleased pair which we might see sometime in the future this was an unreleased pair that um never came out i think one of the samples that i remember seeing as well in all black with a silver swoosh that looks fucking sick so yeah i'm really eager to see them i can't wait from when they do eventually come out i really really can't wait um nike mars yard collaboration soon to come and yeah man happy they saw the light and were able to make the sensible decision because you know the guy again i'm sure everything that was said in that article about tom Sachs is right i'm sure he is a volatile and abusive person to work for but come on man that's not a reason to not want to collaborate with him because i'm sure nike head office has a bunch of people who are volatile and hard to work with do you know what i mean and, and those people don't get fired fucking look at fucking marcus jordan for fuck's sake marcus jordan was out here taking fat bumps of coke at, at some re restaurant outdoors i didn't see any report from nike saying that trophy room got their nike account taken away 
you know what I mean? Like he's he still got his Nike account. He still gets his collaborations made. So if he could take fat slugs of coke in the restaurant, then Tom Sats can throw a couple moleskins at some interns. Fuck it. Do you know what I mean? And it also builds character anyway. Do you know what I mean? Getting a getting getting your your fucking boss to throw a fucking notebook at your face builds character. It's a good thing. Then when you go to somewhere else or when you decide to have your own studio, you know the things that you don't want to see. So it's all good. I like it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So big up Tom Sachs. Happy to be back. Happy he's back. I'm so fucking happy he's back. I can't lie. I really fucking am happy.